So if you're studying for step one and you're not seeing progress, but the test day is getting closer and you're nowhere close to your goal score, what in the world do you do? That's exactly what we'll talk about in this video. Let's get to it. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today we are making another video topic about step one. And it's really a question that I get from you guys a lot, whether it's in the comment section, through emails, through Instagram, which is basically the test is getting closer and I am not seeing progress. I've started to plateau. More importantly, my grades may have started to go down and I'm nowhere or close to where I want to be. What do I do? So today's video is actually from the Step 1 Academy, which is a course that we have on the MD Journey. This is actually a bonus video that we made for the students because they have these kinds of questions. But I know a lot of you guys have been asking me through Instagram and various other social media. So I thought I'd just go ahead and share that with you too. At the very end, if you guys want to learn more about the Step 1 Academy, the links will be down below. But before we begin, if you do enjoy this video, if you enjoy the content that we've produced for you guys on the channel, then just go ahead and share some love. Go ahead and hit that like button. It basically helps the channel grow, get in front of more and more viewers that otherwise wouldn't know we existed. So we appreciate your help. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so because we're putting out weekly content just like this for you. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so this is going to be another video in the Step 1 Academy. It's actually going to be a bonus video because I've been getting a lot of questions from both you guys prior to joining the course, as well as individuals who follow me on social media, which basically say, you know, I'm going to just draw it out um, that I've been studying over time and my score is starting to plateau. So this is this. Oops. This is my score, this is time. But the problem is, you know, plateauing happens obviously when you study for a long period of time, but this right here is your goal score, All right? So the real question is what do you do when there's such a big discrepancy, especially when test day is approaching? We'll just call this test day. You know, so if you're getting really close, a couple of weeks away from your exam, maybe one or two weeks, and your score is nowhere near where you want it to be, then what approach should you take? Should you move the exam back? Um, do you need to change your approach? Should you use a different question bank? Um, so I'm gonna kind of walk you through a sample process or a sample method that I suggest to a lot of my coaching students. Um, and basically the idea is, is that, you know, if you are trying to get, let's just say a 240, all of the number doesn't matter. Let's say you're trying to get a 240 or a 250, that would be, your goal, but you're currently scoring around a 230, um, 220. So you definitely have some room to make before you get here. Now, when time is limited, a lot of times students will try to do something completely different. Um, they'll use a different resource and they hope that that's kind of magically solves their problem. Unfortunately, scoring in this range, you know, is a little bit of scoring, um, sorry, scoring in this range is a little bit different than scoring in this range and trying to go to a 260. Um, here, you're doing pretty well. Um, you just have to, you know, get better at answering uh, more difficult questions. But I'm going to assume most of you guys are kind of in this window, if not a little bit lower, and trying to get in this. So how do you make that jump? So my first thing is going to be is to identify your weak points. Um, that you're really struggling on for the last few weeks of your prep. Um, in the Step 1 Academy, as you guys know, we talk about the dedicated review 2.0 system. Um, so watch those videos again to understand really how to coordinate your schedule to best suit your weaknesses as well as your strengths. But figure out what your weak points are and revisit them. So you can go into your world and identify what kind of subjects are you doing the worst on and which ones are you doing the best on. So you're going to have some topics, as we know, that are going to be mastery. Um, topics that are going to be average and then topics that we're going to call below average or struggling. So I'm just going to give some examples. We're going to say maybe um, you are struggling with cards. Maybe you're still just struggling with repro. Uh, maybe you're struggling with farm, right? So those are some of the main topics, but let's say you're doing well on biostats. And so basically, how do I take this and coordinate a new study schedule for you? Well, if you have a couple of weeks left, what I would say is at the start of your day, I would begin a question block doing this. So go into your world and basically do a 40 question random, first of all, and timed. So I'll explain a few reasons why I do all of those things. Um, so random by random, I would say pick um, your weak topics. So go into your world, pick the cards, pick the repro, pick the farm as your selection and then do 40 questions and keep it timed. The reason I say to keep it timed is that these are going to lead to the most anxiety during test day. 
you know, the topics that you struggle with. And you're also going to struggle um, with timing. So um, if you focus on having just one question block a day that you can go ahead and focus your weak points, then you can improve on both your anxiety as well as your timing. Um, so do the random, you know, and pick your weak topics. And then number two, obviously, is to go ahead and start reviewing them. So in the Step 1 Academy, we talk about various ways to review. Um, and so I'm not going to necessarily go over that in this video, but let's just say you're reading the explanations and you're using a specific strategy that we talked about to, um, to review. Um, now, number three would be to use uh, a reference to kind of fill in the holes. You know, now if you think about it, this is actually a number two, at least iteration of these weak points. You know, maybe you've missed the same cardiology question a few times. So this is probably the second time that you've gone through it. So if you still somehow miss it, then it's encouraged that you go through uh, a reference like first aid um, or watch a YouTube video or go through sketchy if you're struggling with like farm or micro um, and just you know go through those resources to help fill in uh, the blocks so pathoma um, etc so go through the reference and then throughout your day I would recommend you know number four um, is either repeat so do another 40 question block of your weaknesses again with this whole idea is that if we go ahead and graph out our score from our desired score then over time what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just kind of improve on our weaknesses which are going to cost us this difference and get us closer to that because we could try learning through a different resource we can focus more of our time watching videos and hopefully pathoma and sketchy will do the trick but reality closing this gap by working on our weaknesses multiple times especially during the last few weeks is truly what's going to help um, so just to kind of overview um, kind of walking you down so one is identify your weak points once you do that um, try to do one to two random uh, UOL blocks on those topics. Um, review using a reference material on the topics that you're still missing despite you know going through it a second time. Um, and then in regards to kind of how to make sure you're staying strong on your other topics, I would say um, do one block a day on just random. So it's not necessarily around your weak points, it's kind of still um, testing you for test day. Um, but this is going to help you uh, limit your weaknesses. And this is just gonna help you keep you strong per test, test day. So that's kind of my approach, guys. Um, if, hopefully this kind of helped uh, solidify some of the things that you guys may be doing. But if you're considering you know, spending more time watching or using a resource, I would actually recommend just simplifying it completely and going through, you know, what am I struggling on? Let me focus more of my time at the start and the middle of the day on kind of closing in those gaps and then using maybe the last part of my day to uh, just do a generic form of studying. That way I can keep myself strong, limit my weak points, and ideally um, close into my goal score. Um, so hopefully this bonus video helped you guys out. If you guys want to learn more or if you have any more questions, you know, you guys can fill out the survey down below um, in the Step 1 Academy. And also let me know if you guys have any more questions and obviously I can make a video on that topic as well. But I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully it helps you understand how to approach Step 1 when things may not be going your way. If you guys do have more questions about Step 1 that you know where to drop them, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. And also if you're interested in learning more about the Step 1 Academy, especially if you feel like you're a student who needs some help to get to your desired score, then definitely check out the links in the description down below. There you can also see the reviews as well as feedbacks from current as well as past students. And as a bonus, if you want three additional concepts that really helped me propel my Step 1 score, you guys can check out the Step 1 Masterclass also linked down below. And before I let you go, if you want just daily med school tips, not just Step 1, but also things just how to study, being productive, stress management, motivation, then follow your boy at Instagram where we're posting daily, if not bi-daily, by daily i'm not sure well posting twice a day at least of content to help you on your medical journey with a little bit of snippets of golden nuggets is what i call it so definitely check us out on instagram at the md journey but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this video again has been a little help to you if it has let me know in the comments down below liking the video subscribing liking the video again subscribing in case you forgot the first time and i'll see you guys in the next one peace friends